Oh, there we go. Oh my god. I'm not here to fight. You two are here to fight. Oh my god. Boom. There we go. They can fight. Oh my god. They're taking off so fast. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are here with the sequel to making Terraria boss to fight each other. The long awaited sequel. I know, I know, we've been waiting. But you gotta build hype, you know? Consider this like the the No Way Home, the Spider-Man No Way Home, the sequel to the last. And we've been building up hype. I don't know, maybe there's been some leaks about what I'm gonna do in this episode. Well, in this episode or in this video, we are taking the, the higher suggested fights that people wanna see. Starting with the big one here, Spasmatism versus Retinazer. Now, I have gone into the settings of the uh, Super Smash mod, aka this mod right here, and you are able to change the multipliers of damage. And I put them all to 100, so that means projectile damage is 100, contact damage, 100, debuff damage, 100. So that should make the fights faster. Obviously, there's still going to be some problems here and there, like for example bosses like to stay over each other uh what that means is you know when bosses are fighting two flying bosses are fighting one of them wants to stay over the other so say if my mouse is spasmatism and i'm retinazer i'm trying to stay over but then spasmatism's like hey i want to stay over but then me i'm like hey i want to stay over and they keep on doing it until they're in space we saw it happen in the last video so the best i'm gonna do to counteract this and it's bound to get laggy doing this is i'm gonna go down here I'm gonna turn on the brightness, turn it to like 50 so it isn't that laggy. And we're gonna spawn them down here and we're just gonna hope that they fight each other. And hope that this is enough room for the battle to go down. With the multipliers activated, let's see it. Boom, bada, bing. Let's get to battling, boys. Hold up, they're about to take off already. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my God. I was about to say, I was, I was speechless because of what was going down. We might have a clear winner. Whoever does the next contact hit is the winner. I think Spasmatism, since he has more health, he's the winner. And just like that, we have a winner. See, this is a lot better because this obviously makes it so that, you know, the fights are going to be quick. We're going to have quick battles. They might be quicker than you want them to be, but at least the battles are getting done. Unlike the last video where, what was it, the Plantera fight? I was literally like sitting behind the scenes for like 10, 15 minutes, waiting for them to duke it out, probably longer than that. But let's move on to our next fight here, another popular one that people wanted. Uh, I have a feeling this fight's gonna be fast, so I can actually be on the surface for this. I hope so. But we are gonna do the Perforators versus the Hive Mine. Let's do it. This is gonna be interesting because there is a lot of uh, phase switching in this meaning that uh you know sometimes they might de-aggro and i have to re-aggro them into the fight but let's see oh my god was that debuff damage right there that was amazing the perforator is at a loss wait he's in phase two fight each other <laughs> stop trying to fight me and fight each other okay whoa the perforator won <laughs> the perforator had such like a higher health advantage well actually maybe his overall health was higher still but like that was like the comeback of the century uh I, my jaw is dropped all right this next matchup may not be a common matchup but i want to see it lepus versus king slime two bouncy bosses let's see him in action here let me go ahead and tag him with that boom tag you with that <laughs> good job king slime dude lepus didn't even get a hit off and lepus has more health come on let's see it rematch oh my god all right well, he is the king. All right, we're doing another big boy fight here. Gilgamesh versus Enkidu. I'm pretty sure these boys have some lore with each other. So let's see it. Let's hope that I spawn him in correctly. There's two Gilgameshes. I don't remember which one is which. Is this one the final phase one? I have no idea. All right. Boom. Did I click him? There you go. Boom. Can we stop taking away my flight? This is a battle between you two, not me. Not me. I'm not here to fight. You two are here to fight. Gilgamesh is doing a monologue, which is getting him killed. But Enkidu is like straight up almost dead. <laughs> He's still monologuing. <laughs> oh, okay, he won. He won. That boy was putting up a damn monologue. All right, get him out of here. Oh my God, look at this. We get to see where he goes when he dies. Nice, quick matchup. You'd love to see it. Let's move on to the next. Next up, Everscream versus Morningwood. I feel like this one just makes sense, right? This one just makes sense. Let's bring the boys in here. Boom. Their healths are fairly close. It's honestly pretty close. All right, let's see it, though. I could get close for this fight. Go ahead. It's because it's not nighttime. 
You guys, you guys would like it if it was nighttime? Okay. There we go. It's a little dark. Oh, the morning wood takes it just because he has a little bit more health. I honestly want to see a rematch of that one. Let me turn up the brightness. Let's see a rematch of that one. Boom. We'll have it so the lights are actually on and these guys are ready to go since it's nighttime. Let's see. Oh my God. Morning wood again. Ending up with 3,000 health. Gets hit in the middle of the uh, spray, or Everscreen gets hit in the middle of the spray. Good job, Morningwood. That just proves Halloween's better than Christmas. That's a lie. Nobody's ever said that shit before. All right, now this next fight ain't a direct suggestion, but I think this was going to be a good one. If the game allows me to, I'm going to summon in the Sepulcher and the Eidolon Worm. Is that not a good matchup right there? Let's see. Okay, there's multiple Sepulchers. That looks like a tail. So I am a little bit worried. No? Can't summon the Sepulcher? Uh, it's kind of sad, isn't it? All right, how about this? Eidolon Worm versus the Dungeon Guardian. That's my next best one. Boom. Dungeon Guardian, there we go. And let's bring in the big boy, Eidolon Worm. Let's see the matchup. They're already going. Hold up, hold up. And this is exactly what I expected the matchup to be, even with times 100 multipliers. This does not make a difference, because uh, keep in mind, there's no times 100 defense multiplier I have on. Times 100 damage. And this is still the fight that we get. Beautiful. You love to see it. I will be leaving. You guys don't have to fight anymore. You're good. You don't have to fight anymore. You know, just something I wanted to see. There's a couple, like, episodes. Like, I could do whole episodes with just, like, the Dungeon Guardian going against something. Because, you know, he is the Dungeon Guardian. Like, he, he can go against a bunch of bosses by himself. But, for now, no. He's not going against anything. Let's move on to the next fight. Look at him go. Look at that boy go. But yeah, next fight. Supreme Cow versus Dog. That's what I want to do next. Uh, let's go over here to the desert. I don't know why I went to the desert. Why not? Oh, God. It's the sandstorm. You need to turn that off. All right, yeah. This is a big matchup right here. This is definitely one people wanted to see. Dog and Supreme Cow. Let's get it. Boom, there's Dog. I hope I clicked on him. I know that some, like, worm bosses are a little bit buggy uh, with this mod, but hopefully this works out. Where's Supreme Cow at? Boom, right there. Bam. Now, the Devourer Gods is already dead, and it's about to enter phase two. It wasn't really a a fair matchup to begin with because you know dog is pretty big i think he's gonna have troubles dodging all of this this is what i'm gonna do for dog okay i'm going to break these balls that way supreme cow can actually take damage that's as fair as a fight as i can make it can you get out of the way so i can grab that <laughs> okay boom there we go they can fight oh my god they're taking off so fast i'm here uh, <laughs> i'm trying my best to keep up with them there we go holy that was kind of hard Dog is still dying extremely fast, as expected. Supreme Cow is literally the stronger boss. <laughs> so most of the time, the stronger boss is probably going to win, right? And as we can see, Dog did not do that much damage. Honestly, I expected that. That is what we called an expected outcome. All right, so I'm re-recording this uh, Dog and Cow fight, and I'm going to summon Dog in after Cow's first two phases, just to make it a little bit more fair. I'm re-recording it because, you know, there's going to be people bitching in the comments about it. Oh, Game Raiders, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. There's going to be people bitching no matter what, you know how people are. So let's, let's summon in this first phase, let me break the balls, you know, do all that, and then we'll summon in Dog. All right, let's do it. Boom. Did I get him? I think I got him. And boom, bada bing, and here they go, where I can't keep up with them. Oh, look at that, dog died immediately. <laughs> Who would have thought? It's almost like that's the same outcome. I feel like we don't even need to watch the phase two fight. Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta rebind them. All right, there you go, they're fighting. Boom, I'm locked on. Let's see if the outcome changes up. Cal hasn't even been touched once. <laughs> At least the last fight, Cal was touched. Okay, see, as you saw, it didn't really make a difference. All right, I got one that might not be uh, too fair here. Uh, I will make it eternity mode, just to make it a, a little bit fair, hopefully. We're doing Plantera versus Poltergast, okay? So uh, this will hopefully make it a little bit more fair. There's Plantera, how you doing? Where's Poltergast at? Boom, Poltergast. Okay, yeah, obviously it wasn't really a fair fight, but I had to see it, you know, they're very similar bosses. Yo, he going crazy. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah, very similar bosses. I had to see, you know, what would happen. Honestly, what I expected. All right, next up here. This is definitely one of the bigger ones uh, recommended or ones that people want. Supreme Cal versus Yarn. 
where is the jungle there you go we're in the jungle let's see this matchup obviously again with supreme cal i am gonna have to you know break the balls all right let's bring in yarn what's up this is gonna be phase one yarn though uh i there we go wait hold on i'm not done <laughs> you guys aren't supposed to be fighting you out i died i was in god mode <laughs> what can i not spectate what's going on i'm trying to spectate <laughs> where are they what i'm in god mode bro is this some bullshit calamity does where they insta kill you or something bro i would expect it from calamity oh my god look at the size of this tornado i, I just want to watch the fight go down oh my god i just want to watch the fight oh there we go i'm almost there i'm almost there i, I have bubbles on my head apparently what the fuck boom there we go that was way too much effort just to watch this fucking fight bro i'm surprised with the damage multipliers that like they're not doing more damage to each other they are also off screen so by the time i finally was able to watch the fight there's nothing to watch very very nice you know what we're gonna chalk this one up to uh calamity's fault we would have had a better view if i didn't just keep dying i'm in god mode why am i dying let us close this video out here by doing probably one of the most requested bosses that isn't supreme cal it isn't dog it's act death now the problem with act death is act death will kill me every single time after the boss fight and people have told me they're like hey gamers there's a mod that adds in these potions that makes it so you don't die from act death i've tried that mod and act death has still killed me so i i don't know what to say about that so this is what we're gonna do here we're gonna summon the eidolon worm because people wanted to see the eidolon worm some people want to see the eidolon worm get messed up i do too and we're gonna summon act death and we're just gonna hope and pray that act death does not tear my ass apart and instead goes for the eidolon worm uh, you're still going for me. You're still going for me. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Before we do it again, let's just get a nice little intermission fight, you know, to clear my head before we do it. Let's do the Eater of Worlds versus the Brain of Cthulhu. This one shouldn't be too bad. We also got them in their uh, eternity mode forms too. Forgot the Eater World literally is not on the boss list. There you go. Did it work? Who knows? Because I'm pretty sure the Eater isn't allowed to uh, be a part of the fights. As you can see, I'm clicking on them. But then you read this and it says, no, cannot apply Eater of Worlds. So that's why, instead of the Eater of Worlds, I wish there was a faster way for me to spawn these dudes, bro. But yeah, instead of the Eater of Worlds, we will do Brainy Cthulhu versus Skeletron. Close enough, right? Boom. Boom. Let's have a good fight, boys. Who won? Skeletron won? Where'd he go? <laughs> what the fuck? This dude vanished from existence. I feel like that was probably the obvious winner there. All right, moving on. Let's try this again. This is this is kind of tough how to do this because I have to like I have to type in Eidolon Worm. Boom. Like he's he's running away. So I think. Wait, no, he's not running away. Where where did he go last time? <laughs> where did he go when I spawned in the when I spawned in Egg Death? Okay. Boom. Egg Death. What's happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's not working. Okay, let's clear it. And then we'll give him B instead, okay? And then boom, you get A. Uh, no? What? <laughs> okay, it might be really dark, but I feel like this is a better place to spawn the Eidolon Worm. This is going to be my last attempt here. Because obviously, the uh, obviously, Egg Death does not want to come out and fight. I don't know. Maybe it was bugging. I relaunched the world. Let's see. Wow, is he supposed to be like 10 times louder down here? Act death. Yeah, he just disappears. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, what about this? What if we don't even put it against the island worm? What, what if I do this? Boom, act death. No, they just disappear. I don't know what to say. Oh, well, you know, it sucks. It sucks that it's not working. I tried my best to put those titans against each other. We'll do the next best thing. Bill Cypher, Ugandan Knuckles not exactly the next best thing i'll be 100 percent honest but like you know oh well let's see let's see have a good fight everybody you know i think i had enough of this video uh we'll come back for a part three in the future and do some more bosses we'll install some more mods and put some new bosses against each other uh obviously this mod's a little buggy not exactly the greatest a couple things they need to iron out here and there 
I don't think the mod is updated since the last time I reviewed it, so I don't think they care. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.